Hey guys, coming back at you from Richmond Transmission and Auto Service, Melbourne, Florida on 580 South Wickham Road. Um, walked in in the middle of a renovation they're doing at their shop and uh, found this interesting part here. And I uh, just wanted to share it with you guys and get a good explanation. Can you tell us more about this? Um, basically, it's a standalone throttle body by FiTech or FiTech. Um, this is our display unit. It's boxed back up because, again, like I said, you know, you just mentioned we are renovating a uh, whole new showroom. Um, the beauty of these is that it is a, it is a completely integrated system. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, that's pretty. Very pretty. And when I say fully integrated, I mean fully integrated. The pro the main processor is inside here. It has its throttle position sensor, integral fuel pressure regulator, feed line, return line, just as you would in a conventional fuel system, your idle air control valve, your vacuum ports, and your harness, which is buttoned back up. I don't want to take it back out. It is completely terminated with fused harness, weather pack connectors that you find on any modern car. All the provisions that you see on the side would be matching, let's say, conventional holly carburetors in whereas for kick down linkages and throttle cables, so on and so forth. So anything that will work on a holly will work on these. Um, underneath, again, you can see more connectors here. Those are the actual drivers for the injectors themselves, and it operates just like a four barrel throttle body. Oh, okay. What I really like about the progressive design on here is that it dumps towards the center. Yeah, I noticed that. Where in many other carburetors, they open in the opposite direction and they have a tendency of driving the fuel either towards the front of the intake manifold or the rear of the intake manifold, um, leaning out cylinders. So by, to have that center dump just like that really is a game changer. Now, tell me where you see the injectors. Injectors, injectors. Does anybody see injectors? I need someone to point them out here. Actually, I don't see them. It's very hard to see, probably even worse on camera, but see the, the yellow portion over there? Yeah. They're completely encircled with very, very, very small, precise holes. So what happens is under high pressure, this comes out damn near as a fog. It's called annular discharge. Okay. Um, in watching it, if you were to look at a regular conventional injector on a throttle body setup, you can actually see a very, uh, like a conical spray pattern, almost like an upside down ice cream cone. This over here comes out as a mist, practically. Okay. Incredible atomization and all great efficiency. Can we see it on the other side better? Actually, probably less. Less. Oh, by the way, that little thing sticking yeah. down over there, yeah. that's your air intake sensor. Uh, sensor. Oh, okay. So it has all the features built into it, including a map. Let's get in here, Let's see if we can. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right in there, there's a bunch of tiny little holes where the uh, gold part and the silver part meet. So I don't know, but uh, maybe I can enhance it. Uh, yeah, she sure is pretty. So what, uh, this right on the side, it says uh, 1200 HP. This, uh, this system's actually good for 1200 gross horsepower. Okay. Um, they go down as low as 250 horsepower, and again, like I just said, there's only the 1200 horsepower model. Um, you can run it with natural aspiration, you can uh, utilize forced induction on them. Um, there would be like a blow through style system where you would need a hat mm -hmm. of some sort, you know, for turbocharging, things along those lines. Okay. But more of what's in the box would be your connectors, harnesses, lots of harnesses your laptop adapter for programming. Gaskets. A series of different bungs to be able to get the water temperature sensor functional. And more importantly, the wideband oxygen sensor. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's probably the most important part. Now, it is laptop programmable. But at the same time, you do have your onboard display of which way you can program as well. You can go either way. Oh, that's mount, nice. Mount this on your dashboard, and you can get all kinds of information out of it depending on how you set it up. It is a joystick control, left, down, up, right, and then center point for, I guess, enter functions and things like that. Depends on what it is that you're working on at the time. Okay. 
Now we've installed a few of these. I haven't done one on a conventional small block Chevrolet yet, which I was kind of happy about. We got some really strange projects um, that we had a ball with because one of the great features of this is that you can take late model HEI or aftermarket HEI distributors and now you wind up with more than just fuel control. Now you also have fuel and timing. Okay. And it does have a self-tuning capability in there as well. So effectively, you have the same type of structure electronically that you would have from a mid-90s on up to a mid-2000s um, um, General Motors or uh, GMC-style truck fuel injection, but okay. in, a, in a performance application. Um, that's what I really love about it because it keeps it simple. Now, what we've done on these is I've installed these on a lot of earlier model muscle cars, 389 Pontiacs, 400, um, 400 Pontiacs, some Buicks, a couple of Cadillacs. We did one on a 73 Eldorado. Um, again, the lesser horsepower, we used a 600 horsepower system because he actually had a cam in the thing. Um, but the, you can that's their max, you can tune down for them. Okay. So we had the 600 horsepower model on there with the HEI, with the electronic controls, bolted all together. He immediately got about another seven miles, he claims seven miles to the gallon. Wow, that's, that's a big difference. Yeah, for, that's an improvement. for a 500 cubic inch, three speed, but non overdrive. Um, I, w I was shocked as to, you know, what he told me, but the performance was absolutely staggering. We were just doing burnouts in the parking lot, having a ball with it. You know, that's always fun. Before he got here and he caught us, but yeah. <laughs> Cool, cool. So this 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 unit right here, how much uh, is how much is it with your price and installation on say, uh, three hundred and fifty small block three hundred and fifty. Uh, small block three hundred and fifty uh, installation is rather you know, it's very subjective. You're also going to need some sort of a fuel source. Um, what I like about this one is that um, FI Tech or FI Tech they also have an external inline pump. These don't run at the same pressures that you know that say. Uh, sequential injection does these run more like the gm styles under 50 psi in most okay. cases you know for most street applications anyway so we can get an inline pump on there so there's some fabrication that needs to be done by either us or the customer because we can either sell it to you or sell it and install it depending on the system that you buy they're as little as 850 um this one hovers around 1500 ish in that okay. range which i think is a great deal for something that is really a swap in a box. Everything you get. I mean, performance. I mean, you have me sold on this, this piece. I'm able to monitor data log and uh, yes. anything else you really want. And, and this is self-learning? It is self-tuning. Well. Self-tuning? Okay. Yeah. It's the magic of a wide band or two sensors. So nonetheless, um, well, you even get this mount. I don't see what the is for. Oh, but. that's a pretty mount. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure. I think they do have some sort of a bezel that you can put in the dashboard, but there's plenty of aftermarket stuff where you can just yeah. adhere this to the windshield, you know, just like to these modern cell phones and all that. Okay. Um, and that's kind of it. And the tunability is fantastic. The, um, you know, you have, like anything else, you have a little bit of patience, you know, upload your file, um, and then just crank it from there. Set your timing, lock it in place. That's if you're going to run timing, going to run timing control, if at all possible, do it. Um, oh, we did it on an AMC as well. We use an oh. after, yeah, we wound up with an aftermarket GM swap distributor, which is almost available for any vehicle these days. And when we just gutted it, we put in a later model ignition controller rather than the four wire, we used the six wire, and that gave us full control for this device to run along with it. We just had to lock the, the distributor itself, you know, the mechanical portion out to okay. zero. So it no longer had a mechanical advance, which is extraordinarily simple to do. Um, and you'd never know to look at it. It's very stealthy. Okay. Well, guys, there you have it. This is a really a piece of jewelry, in my opinion. I mean, extraordinarily well. I, I would be, I, I'd, I'd be sad to get this thing dirty. But um, for all you gearhead guys out there, this is it, man. You know, give Richmond Transmission a call here at three two one eight zero two twenty four eighteen. Get a price on this thing. Tell them Sean sent you. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing bad about this. I mean, it's just, it's just simple for you're looking for extra torque or horsepower, anything. I mean, this is definitely the way to go. It's as close to plug and play as you're going to find out there, and extremely affordable. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'll uh, be uploading this video soon, and uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share on all the social media platforms for Richmond Transmission Auto Service. In the uh, description.